What's up, Galerinha? It's Ohei with Jing and Grow Strong. Today I'm going to talk about training away from your master. Now, did you have to move? Did you start training cop one and you had to move out of your city so you can't train with the group anymore? Did your master move? It happens all the time. They're, maybe they're newly uh, straight from Brazil. They kind of not set up yet. They got a job somewhere else. They moved somewhere else. They had to, they, you started training with them. Finally, found a group and they had to move away. It happens all the time. Or did you have to move for your job or whatever it happens to be? I'm going to talk exactly these stories happens all the time, even in Brazil, even here. And if you watched my last video, I briefly talked about this concept. So you can train with confidence, you can train, uh, you know, with uh, excitement, you can train with uh, everything that you need to be successful uh, while you're training away from your master. Now I'm going to go over a few different things. It's going to be uh, if you're a beginner, if you're an advanced or graduado, or if you're a graduado and above with a school. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start right off the bat. I'm going to kick your ass with the best that we got. Uh, not the best necessarily, but one of the hardest hitting. Mestre Ameng Santo was one of the, uh, the founding masters of Capoeira in the United States. Now, Mestre Jalon spread Capoeira and he spread masters all throughout the United States. But if it wasn't for Mestre Ameng hitting it big in Hollywood and getting the, only the strong out, that connected with so many people. And it's the first time that I ever saw and heard or heard about Brazilian Capoeira was in only the strong with Mark DeCascos. So without him, I don't think all the pieces uh, play into part. So here it is. We're gonna talk about, for people that don't have a master, we're gonna talk about uh, training by yourself where you just started and you moved away really fast and you don't really have the direction. So we're talking about more beginner students and if you don't have a master. So listen to what uh, Mestre Amen Santos has got to say. <clears throat> so how do you stay motivated if you uh, move out of town, you move away from your school um, you leave your master or you leave your teacher and how do you stay motivated uh, you know once they go out and start their own school or not even that stay in training maybe they're just you know once you leave your the area of your school how do you stay motivated to keep on training and to keep on getting better I think the hardest thing about capoeira is that especially if you if you don't have a teacher training with you all the time or teaching you all the time it's extremely hard to stay motivated because uh, especially if you're teaching. If you're teaching without training, there's going to be a point that you, you, you know, you're going to run dry and you're not going to have enough information to pass on. Then, then you become frustrated and that's when a lot of people just, they just quit because they, they feel like they cannot perform anymore. I think the key is to stay hungry, to stay humble and to always have that beginner's mentality because when you think you arrive so that's a big problem because if you're always arriving it'd be easier because you feel like you're always hungry to learn something new and that will give you motivation to stay in the game but when you feel like oh you know I'm good here so you probably you gonna be good but you're not gonna be able to go any further than that so I think answer your question, just stay humble and really try to search and, and talk with people with more experience and, and be very close to your teacher and find the ways to get together as many times as possible to get more information so you can always come back to your school and be able to share the information. So physically that means traveling as much as you can, go out and seek? Yeah, I think traveling, go to different events, talking to the people, your mentors, you know, that can really guide you to, to make sure that you're on the right track. Okay, what a treat. We're gonna next move on to Contra Mestre Medicido. Now, he talks about being a teacher and about uh, deriving your inspiration about the fact of, of being of, or having disciples. Let's take a listen. A, a school owner or a school leader, uh, uh, you know, maintain his motivation and inspiration uh, to keep on progressing, even though he might be isolated from his, his, you know, his superiors or his, or even his group you know, that's far away. It's far away. It, to be honest with you, again, that mindset, it has to be certain that they're doing what they love. Um, there is always going to be times that you really think about what you're doing how you're doing it. Uh, just because you do that in life with anything if you're in a job it comes to a point sometimes that you ask yourself is this the job that I want to be at is this the point in life that I want to be at 
you know, or where am I going with this? What am I really trying to achieve? With capoeira, I feel that once you've gotten capoeira into your veins, it's a little different because you really do have a passion for capoeira. When you're away from your school and you're trying to grow a school, it is so difficult to grow a school, especially in a martial art that a lot of people view as very, very hard. And so a lot of them are scared of it, you know? I was speaking to a lady uh, a few minutes ago that was telling me that like, oh, that sounds really difficult. <laughs> I, I would rather just do dance. People are, are not always ready for the challenge of capoeira. And so whenever you're a teacher and you have to remind yourself that capoeira is for everybody, but not everybody's for capoeira. So your, your goal is to find the ones that want capoeira in their life. And those are the ones that motivate you to continue your work. Not your students, your disciples. The people that will follow you into hell or they need to. <laughs> All right. And I, and, I, and I have some of those. And those are the ones that never make me look back and say, I regret my life. Those are the ones that I look at and say, you know, these students, if I, if I started to get in a fight and things went really bad, I know that in seconds, we're going to all be in a fight. <laughs> because they will follow me into the depths of hell if they need to, to, to follow their belief system. This is my instructor, this is my teacher. He's leading me on the path to what I want to achieve, which is greatness within the Capoeira community, right? And so the disciples are really what I feel make you stay and continue your passion for Capoeira. Their growth, their development, you take somebody from absolutely nothing and, and, and when the Capoeira community then starts to go, hey, your student is amazing, or your student <laughs> is... Uh, getting better every single time I, I see him. Those moments right there are the moment that you say, this is why I do capoeira. Because my disciple will be here after me to continue my work and he will not let me down because he's not willing to let me down. And I'm not going to let him down. And so you continue your work without, without any more fear of anything. Once you sort of create that situation where you, you have a few disciples and those disciples have your back and you have their back to the end of the earth, that's when your capoeira group is at its strongest because no nothing can break that. Nothing can break that bond between these martial artists. It's very incredible the, the sort of the respect and humility that they take upon each other. From teacher to pupil, from pupil to their pupils, you know? So it, it, it's just it's really a, a beautiful development that happens. Okay, that was beautiful. And I had so many uh, different interviews. I wanted to post one with Mesa Efrain. Master Reveto, Master Becky that I had. There's just so much content that I have in so many interviews that I've had to look over. So I just want to hit it with, with big impact. And so this next interview is here with Master Pingo Fogel, one, uh, one of our surrogate uh, masters we've spent a lot of time with uh, in our group. And he talks about just, uh, it's all about the motivation, right? It's all about what happens inside you, which is true, which with either you're going to a, a student by yourself, uh, or a, a graduado and above an instructor with the school. This is all relevant and he has some very good developmental advice to, to listen to. So let's hear what he has to say. How does a capoeirista stay motivated when he leaves his group, when he has to travel, or, or maybe start a group on his own, or maybe he moves to work or something? How does he stay motivated to train and to keep on growing when he's away from his master, when he's away from his, his, his solid group? Yeah, I can tell a lot about this because I had this experience. I uh, it's been 13 years that I've been living in the US, so I, I see my mask maybe once a year, and for like only a few days, you know. So I don't have much time to spend with my mask nowadays. Uh, I mean, I would say that the past 13 years, you know, like I, I don't see my mask more than a, like a week, so uh, a year per year. So uh, you know, like it's not easy. It's hard. You know, to, to not have someone coaching you, you know, because one thing is to coach you through phone, uh, internet, you know, exchange emails, which which helps a lot, you know, like sometimes, you know, like I have some, some questions to my mask and I, I call him or I text him or, you know, like I contact him somehow and he's very like uh, responsive, you know, like he responds right away. So 
it's good, but it's not the same when you have a mess next to you. You know that you are training. You know, I I I'm the type of person that I need a coach. I need someone to tell me, you know, like, oh no, you have to do this to get better. You know, uh, so it's not easy. So what I do, I try to. Uh, to be a, uh, the type of capoeirista that uh, I don't gossip, you know, I, I try to avoid gossip, I, I try to avoid like people talking bad about each other, so I try to make a lot of friends and be involved with capoeira as much as I can, you know, give back to capoeira what capoeira gave to me. So this way, you know, like uh, I've been, you know, invited to different groups, you know, and they, they accept me as the, as the person that I, I am, you know, so this is very, you know, like, uh, what can I say, it's, it's gratifying, it's not satisfying, it's not like satisfying, but uh, you know, like, uh, when you, it's an accomplishment, to me it feels like, it feels like I, I accomplished a lot, you know, uh, uh, being accepted for different groups and different types of capoeira, different masters, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, being called a master from another master that I never thought, you know, that someone, you know, like that level would call me a master. I'll give you an example, like Master Cordeon. He always, you know, call, calls me like, hey, master, being a fool, you know, and I tell him, master, don't call me master, you know, like you're the master, you know. So, but he said, no, if you're a master, recognize you as a master, so you're a master. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's good though, it's good. But, you know, going back to the, 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 the question that you asked, uh, you know, I think you have to, to travel and try different experiences to, to challenge yourself and give back to the community, you know, like, as, as long as you're, you're around, you know, Capoeira and giving back to Capoeira, I think, you know, like, it's not the same being around your master, but you know, you can improve a lot. And I hope that gave you very good inspiration coming from the masters themselves uh, about training by yourself and staying motivated whether you have a school you just started or you're a higher level course. So in that case, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, check out the free course down below and take the 90 second Capoeira quiz. Jingen, grow strong.